Hi, Vu of and Vu Films, and I'm back with another idiotic video. Wait, is, is this still idiotic if two idiots make it right? Well, hopefully, with Safe Park here, it's not as idiotic of a video yeah. because this is actually a legit. No, I'm pretty idiotic legitimate. Too. <laughs> but anyway, moving on, we are filming a wedding today, both with a Juin Weebill S. So we have two Juin. Weeble S's. 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 We'll, S's. Yeah. we'll be filming real world wedding today. I'll be on a 55mm f1.8 Sony lens majority of the time. And Say will be on a what? 24mm GM. It's not mine, it's, it's his. Because yeah. <laughs> uh, it says G on it. I don't have anything that says G on it. I'd hope not. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but anyway. We'll see how today goes. This is gonna be weird. It's gonna be really weird. Why today. is it weird? Because <laughs> we're gonna have to do this YouTube stuff like, kind of oh. on the run. Wow, well, that's what we do best. And I'm used run to and gun. And I'm used to just filming it in my car or in my basement with douche lights. <laughs> <laughs> I brought my purple light. If you want oh, oh, it out here. In the shade. Anyways, let's get to it. I promise to be your shield when the world is cold, and your sword if the wolves come to find our door. Yet I promise to see beauty in the world as you saw it in my rough soul. You help me find that I don't have to fight everything to get the job done, that sometimes taking a deep breath was all I needed. I promise to love you like I'm going to lose you. You're my puzzle piece that fits perfectly and I love you. So that was just a little sneak peek that I create for all of my wedding couples the day after the wedding and all that footage was shot on Sony a7 III with the Juin Weibull S. Both cameras were on Juin Weibull S. Um, one was mine which was on the 55mm f1.8 on Sony a7 III and there was one clip with the 35mm f1.8 that I swapped out during the reception. Say, as you may know him, Say Park of YouTube, he uh, used a Weebill S with the A7 III with 24 millimeter GM the whole entire day. So all of the wide angle shots that you see in the video and in the BTS that I'm about to show you in a second were shot by Say Park. And if you want to get more in-depth review on the gimbal, all like the, the features, the uh, image transmission, pretty much all the little knickknack details of the Juin Weeble S and how it works. Please subscribe to Say Park. He is undoubtedly the most detailed gimbal reviewer on YouTube. And of course, look forward to our collaborations as he is my main second shooter for weddings that I shoot. So we're always filming together and we will be doing a lot more collaborations. So before I go into like the main behind the scenes of the wedding shoot, I just want to point out some things about the Juin Weeble S that I've noticed as I used the gimbal for six to eight straight hours. Uh, first of all, battery life was great. Um, I had half of the battery left after the whole wedding. Um, granted, I only used it for maybe six hours straight on and off, but um, I think that's great battery life considered when I had the Weebill Lab. That thing, for some reason, just ran out of battery really quick. Um, and this one worked out great. Um, you know, in terms of stabilization, I thought it worked fantastic. Um, it was light. Uh, I had no issues for the most part. There were some random issues with my follow mode. Um, for some reason, when I press the button, it will go into follow mode, but then if I press the button again, it wouldn't go back to 
pan follow mode. So then I have to press the function button for it to go back to pan follow mode. And some instances in follow mode, it acted like it was in lock mode. So it would follow going up and down, but then when I would turn, it would be like it's on lock mode. So I don't know if it's uh, my unit issue because my unit was acting slightly differently than Say's unit. And I don't know if it's gonna be addressed in a firmware update or what have you. But overall, it didn't affect my use of the gimbal. Um, it worked fine. I got the shots that I needed. Um, and you know, it was a slight workaround, but for the weight, the size, the fact that it could balance the camera setup on a uh, Manfrotto RC2 plate where I could just take this off and put it on a tripod really quick um, when I wanted to, that's fantastic. And I have no complaints about that. Um, overall, great gimbal. You know, if, if you, shoot mirrorless or you shoot mirrorless sony even if you use bigger zoom lenses um fuji film um pretty much any camera system you use mirrorless other than like probably canon this weeble s will work perfectly for you and this is my most recommended gimbal just for its size the amount of weight it could balance um and just the fact that you could change all the modes right on the gimbal gimbal controls versus having to go through the app to change things. Um, this is great. And also I actually use POV mode quite a bit as you see in the BTS and um, POV mode is awesome. It, it gives you like this handheld look, but just a lot more stable without like these extra shakes. Um, the only reason, so pretty much any mirrorless setup, I highly recommend this camera, maybe even some DSLR, um, just as long as it's not like Canon EOS R or some of that. The reason why I don't recommend put that on here because I don't recommend you buy anything Canon um, period because as my usual subscribers know Canon is complete 100% unadulterated trash and it does not belong on such a magnificent stabilization machines machine all kidding aside if you watch potato jet as channel you will see that he balanced the EOSR with like a really massive lens on this Weeble S perfectly fine and uh, he seems to like it a lot and with my Sony, I like it a lot. So um, this is definitely my go-to gimbal. I would say this is my go-to gimbal as much as rice is my go-to food of choice. For reasons, it's pretty obvious. Or even more so, this is my go-to gimbal as much as chopsticks is my go-to utensils for eating. This is my go-to gimbal as much as it is most Vietnamese people's go-to career is to do cosmetology being a manicures, hairstylist, hair cutter. This is my go-to gimbal, probably as much as a Korean's go-to business is a dry cleaners. This is my go-to gimbal, probably as much as it's Chinese people's go-to thing to cut in line in front of, in front of me at the Chinese supermarket. This is my go-to gimbal as much as probably it is for Asian tourists go-to move to squat and take a photo. Form with horrible gimbal form um so you know in that way you get to see how the gimbal works how stable it is in real time speed and you know what it looks like if you shot it specifically to do slow motion or what have you so um i hope it helps you make a purchase decision um it's really not that difficult to make decisions i'm going to tell you i shoot weddings and i shoot commercial work and i have to carry around a gimbal for eight nine ten twelve hours a day sometimes and it needs to be light and it needs to be stable and it needs to balance what i want it to balance and it needs to be versatile and i need to be able to take this off of the plate quickly to apply to other stuff and this is the perfect gimbal for me if you feel like your workflow matches mine then yes i highly recommend this gimbal over any other gimbal available if you have a similar workflow to mine use similar size gear and all that stuff I can't speak for everybody. So that's my recommendation. If you have big, massive setups, um, then obviously you wanna get a bigger gimbal, Ronin S or what have you. Um, if you're not shooting for long periods of time and stuff, it's not a big deal. You get a Ronin S, you can put bigger, bigger, you know, cinema rigs or whatever on it, great. But I think for smaller mirrorless setups, this is the way to go, preserve your back. Um, that, you know, couple grand every year going, you know, flying to Vietnam to get yourself that back massage that you know you claim that you get so like all wedding videos that will be a very happy ending but on to the bts as promised
All right, the first footage here we have Say Park. I have no idea what he's doing, but I presume that he's still looking for 4K60 in the Sony camera body. And I'm sorry to say, but there's no 4K60 in there. There's also no 10-bit 422 or any of that crap that we want. But as you can see, this is a shot on the 55mm Weeble S. This is slowed down, obviously, but the clip right before was regular motion. Pretty smooth. There say again, with good form, focused, looking like Jet Li, drawing a sword. Yep, that same move again. I'm sure that footage turned out good once I look at it. Here is say getting some cinematic B-rolls of the flower. This is 55 millimeter at regular speed. And look at that form, gimbal form say is doing. Probably still, Looking for 4K60 in the camera, but there it is. Here he is again, doing a push-in shot, holding his breath, probably because I just farted. Not for gimbal stabilization, but he probably smelled my fart that I left there, and that's why he's holding his breath, doing a push-in shot. Oh, got the shot. Now he got a big old smile on his face as if he won a free tub of kimchi at the grocery store. Here we have Say doing under slung mode with perfect form. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect form. He looks like an old Asian man crouching over, searching for bok choy at the local Asian supermarket. Same shot again in slow motion. It looks much cooler. Um, Less jittery. Yeah, this is the 55 millimeter footage. It's important to always, you know, not always gimbal on wide angle. So here I am doing POV mode. As you can see, it's a little bit jittery, um, but it makes for a cool shot. And Sony continuous autofocus is just amazing. It's an F1.8 and it's completely locked onto the couple, no problem. And you know, some more POV mode. Um, it looks weird, but once, you know, I shot it because I knew I would probably slow it down. And when you do slow motion with shots like this, it looks pretty epic. Maybe a little warping might be needed, but overall, it's a very cool shot, you know. Smooth. I'm gonna go over to the next shot, same thing. I'm gonna do the same type of move, but closer. And again, look at the Sony lock-on continuous autofocus on the couple. F1.8 never loses focus, you know? But of course, to be a real filmmaker, you need a rack focus, right? That's what you all say, but look at this. Why make yourself work harder when you just point and shoot? So yeah, I really like the POV mode in the Juin uh, Weeble S. And here is Say Park again. Exercising heel toe, proper form. Michael Jackson moonwalk, getting some smooth B-rolls. Big smile again, he just won another tub of kimchi. Oh. Going back to get more B-rolls. Getting a nice epic sunset shot of the couple. Look at this form here in slow motion, perfect heel toe action. Look at that. And here he is with his Jet Li rod, doing some Shaolin Temple stuff with the gimbal, but it made for an awesome shot. It's here again in slow motion with this Taekwondo move, bringing it back up getting a borderline jib, almost drone type shot. And right about here, he gets a text that he won another tub of kimchi, big smile on his face, looks at the camera, act like nothing has just happened. He just got a great shot and he just act like nothing happened. So humble, incredibly humble guy. Next shot. Now we have some indoor bokeh action during the reception. Some shots of the product.
My camera work is horrendous, as always. Say is still going through the menus, searching for 4K60. It's not in there, Say. I'm telling you. You never find it in there. This is just, you know, some product shots uh, 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 of the setup. Um, again, he's using 24 millimeter G Master. And just, just doing standard gimbal moves here. Got the earplugs on, you know. Gotta protect your ears, I guess. Hearing all the trash talk I'm saying, you need to protect your ears. Next clip here. You know, just some more moves. Say, waiting for the perfect moment for a good shot. Still looking for 4K60 in there. Cannot find it. It's not in that Sony body. Probably not into 2026. When we're all uh, shooting Panic Panasonic S1A, still trying to find focus. Oh, now we're back to this douchebag of the century. Filming on gimbal with no form. This is filmed with a 24 millimeter. Here he is again. Looking into that monitor, hardcore. Doing absolutely no movement at all, even though he's on gimbal. And actually the reason why I, the reason why I don't move too much sometimes, cause you know, you don't always have to like move like crazy with the gimbal. Sometimes the subtle things, um, you know, especially you're doing 55 millimeter, it's pretty tight. So you're, you don't have to like sit there and do all this crazy movements. If anything, it just helps you keep it steady with slight movement. It gives a lot to the image. Um, I think the biggest flaw is people always trying to go wide angle every time on gimbal. You don't have to do that. You can go even as tight as 85 if you want to. Here again, some more B-rolls of the huge YouTube douche right there. Doing absolutely nothing with his camera, just holding the gimbal there, pretending like he knows how to do something. Typical fake it till you make it filmmaker. Now he's back on the beach where he came from after he got off the boat. Oh, look at that form. Found that sunlight. Now here I am trying that POV mode, getting right into the photographer shot. Just to be clear, that was all communicated beforehand so he knew that I was gonna go in front and he was okay with it. We work really well with our photographers. We are friends. Here I am with my Asian back walk at the grocery store. And some clip here of me switching over to POV mode to do some POV gimbal work during reception dancing. And as you can see, I'm able to tilt it back and forth, you know, get these very nice dynamic shots of dancing. Um, you know, definitely not the standard stuff. This is very fun to edit footage like this versus just editing like standard dance footage when you get to like move around, stable, you could implement slow-mo if you want to and do more creative editing for the reception dancing. Um, it's really important to film the whole day great, not just like a couple portrait session. You gotta film everything as creative as possible. Some more B-rolls, now Say is doing POV. And of course, Say is waiting for me to get my douchebag ass out the way so he can get this nice epic shot from the top of the lights down. But of course, I'm there doing some Stupid crap. Now I'm finally out the way and say he gets to be that Shaolin temple martial artist he's always hoped to be his whole life. Great shot. And then I think he did it twice, so let's see. This other shot. Turn out okay. Here he goes again. One more time. Look at this autofocus from that Sony. It's just crazy. This is also at F1.4, I believe. Look at how it just focuses in. Doesn't skip a beat. Incredible. 
anyways guys that will be it for the bts of shooting a real wedding with the weebill s um you know hope it was enjoyable hope it was somewhat informative unlike 99 percent of my other idiotic videos and you know if you'd like to see more content like this more uh videos about camera and just you know want to hang out with me here on youtube in general please like share and subscribe and until next time lighten up